Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to do a tag video, which is you know, a video you know, with different uh, questions and a certain theme or whatever. I'm going to do the gender tag. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Hannah Hart, who does My Drunk Kitchen, I'm sure you've heard of that, did it, and I thought that it would be a fun tag to do. The first question, um, I'm going to be reading the questions in front of me on my computer, <laughs> so if you look down, that's why. Um, the first question is, how do you self-identify your gender and what does the definition mean to you? Um, I self-identify as a girl, um, and to me, that just means I'm a girl. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, I haven't really uh, thought about it, to be honest. I just, I've always identified as a girl, and that's just how I feel, what gender I feel closest to. I, I don't know. Hmm? Um, what pronouns honor you? Um, I use she, her pronouns. Um, number three, describe the style of clothing that you most often wear. Um, a lot of the times I just wear a t-shirt and jeans. Um, I have varying colors of jeans. Um, and, but when I'm feeling less lazy or I have more time or whatever, I usually wear a cute skirt and a more dressy shirt because uh, one of my fashion inspirations is Blair Waldorf. So think a mix of Blair Waldorf and bohemian comfortable. I go back and forth. Um, talk about your choices with body hair. How do you style your hair? Um, this is usually literally every day how I style it. I just brush it real quick, put it behind my ears because I don't like hair being my face. It bothers me, especially because it's usually hot here. Um, but then there are times where I am feeling more, you know, cute and adventurous, so I put a little bow, and then there, when I don't feel like washing my hair, I put it up in a ponytail or a half up, but most of the time it's this, because it's much easier, since I have to wake up early for school, it's easy to just brush, brush, put it by my ears, and go. Um, do you have facial hair? Uh, no, I don't have facial hair. Luckily, I know some people that have a little bit of, you know, mustache hair. They have to bleach or whatever, and luckily I don't have to worry about that. Um, why do you choose to shave or not to shave? Um, honestly, most of the time, I choose not to shave my legs. Like, I just don't. Like, most of the time, I'm more comfortable wearing, uh, long pants anyway, because I just, I don't really like my legs that much, and to me, jeans are just more comfortable than wearing something else. But even then there are a lot of times I wear shorts or skirts and I don't shave my legs for days and I don't really care what people think about it because to me it's just freaking hair like who cares like ooh I'm so gross because I have stubble in my legs like who cares so I shave when I want to shave and I don't really care what anyone thinks about it um five talk about cosmetics do you choose to wear makeup um I wear I'm in theater and so I have to wear makeup for shows and I just got done with five weeks of performances for uh, West Side Story. And so that, I had to wear an extensive amount of makeup for a long time and it messed with my skin a little bit. So my face is kind of on a break right now. Um, most of the time, outside of a show, I don't even choose to wear makeup anyway. Sometimes if I have a zit that I think looks really gross, I cover that up. Or if I'm going to a really special event, I wear a little bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of eyeliner. And that's really it. I don't, I really don't wear makeup that often because... I kind of had this thing where I touch my face a lot. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like a habit. And so, you know, I can't really do that if I'm wearing makeup. And, you know, I have allergies, so I have to rub my eyes. And I can't do that if I'm wearing makeup either. And to me, I just feel like my face feels less hot. And just, I just like a naked face better. That's just what I prefer. Um, do you paint your nails? Obviously, you could see in the video that I do. Um, again, when I'm in a show, I can't paint my nails. But I'm not in a show right now, so I can and I, am paint, I have red right now, and I love it. Um, I had blue before, and now I have red because I bought a bunch of new nail polishes, and I love it, and I love how red nails look on me because I think red is my color. Um, what types of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? Uh, I can't wear perfume because they if any of those perfumes or body sprays or anything bother, bother my allergies. Um, and then soap. Um... I usually use a body wash that has a very mild scent because, again, allergies. Or I use a soap that has a very mild scent. Um, that's really it. I don't really buy a specific brand. It just has to have a mild scent for my 
for smelling for my allergies and also because my skin reacts to scented stuff too. Um, have you ever experienced being misgendered? If so, how often? Um, actually, there have been times um, when my hair is really short or my hair is in a ponytail and I'm wearing a baggy shirt that there have been a couple of times where someone wasn't really paying attention and called me sir. Um, it doesn't really happen that often because, I don't know, I don't know why, it doesn't happen to me that often. Um, but it has happened a couple of times and it really, it doesn't bother me, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. Um, do you experience dysphoria? How does that affect you? Uh, no, I don't really experience that at all. Um, talk about children. Are you interested in having kids? Um, I go back and forth, um, on that quite often. Um, so at the moment, it's an I don't know. Would you want to carry a child if that were an option for you? I do know that if I do have kids, I will adopt because I just don't think with my anxiety and some muscle problems and just various other health problems that I would handle being pregnant for nine months very well. I just don't think I would. So if I do have kids, it'll, I will probably be adopting. Um, do you want to be the primary caretaker for any children you have? Um, obviously, if I have a kid, I want it to be when I'm married. And so I would want me and my husband or whatever to equally take care of the kid. Um, talk about money. Is it important to you to provide for a family financially if you choose to have one? Yes, I would like to, you know, take part in providing financially. Um, I don't, that's just how I feel. I would want to be a part of that. Um, is it important to you that you earn more than any partner you may have? No, I don't care if my partner is a millionaire and I earn five bucks an hour or whatever. I really don't care as long as I'm, you know, helping out. I really don't care. I mean, it's not a competition with my spouse. If I'm doing a job that I love and so are they, it really doesn't matter. Um, do you prefer to pay for things like dates? Um, honestly, right now, I don't have a whole lot of money, and so, you know, it'd be nice to find someone that can, you know, take me on dates and pay for it, but I mean, I will pay for it sometimes if I have to. It's just, I think it's fun when you can go out on a date and not have to worry about paying for things for yourself. Um, are you uncomfortable and others pay for you or offer to pay for you? Um, honestly, that's part of my anxiety where I feel really guilty about that. Even when my friends offer to do it themselves, I still feel bad about it. Um, but I mean, if I don't have money, I don't have money. Um, anything else you want to share about your experience of gender? Um, I feel, I'm lucky to feel really comfortable with my gender and who I am and my gender identity. There are a lot of people that aren't and I feel really lucky that I feel comfortable. I mean, obviously it is hard being a girl because, you know, of some, you know, the female gender is the look down upon gender in a lot of ways and we struggle with feeling, you know, feeling like we are treated equally. But um, as gender as a whole, I feel lucky to feel very comfortable in my own gender. Um, so that's it. See you next Friday.